Hi, today I'm covering the game between Fabiano Carana and John M. Burke from round 3 of US Championship. And let's begin from this position. Because the opening was not so interesting, uh, we had Rui Lopez, and uh, in this position, uh, White's bishop is quite passive on g3. Also, the bishop on c2 is very passive, so White has to do something about this. The only one of the few ways to to get this bishop on g3 out of this cage is to somehow prepare d4 and to open up the position in the center. But first, Caruana chose to play a4, and now the simple threat is to take on b5 and uh, then capture the knight on a5. So what if he played played something like d4? immediately. Then black should probably take on g3, take back and push g4 to remove the attacker on e5 and after some move like knight h4 then black would provoke white to push d5 and now the knight would really really be nice on, on e5. It's not possible to to remove it so easily, and I think that Black has a has a very pleasant game in this position. Usually, in these uh, positions like uh, this one, White doesn't hurry with d4 because it is very committal, and uh, sometimes it's not possible to to keep this e4 d4 structure and uh, you see what happened here white was forced to to push d5 and now the the structure is not so solid in the center it was better to keep it on d4 and d4 and knight has a good outpost on e5 now so first karana plays a4 black took hg and now he made a mistake he went back to c6 which allows bishop on c2 to get more active in the future it was better to play a move like b4 and the point is if you take knight c6 goes and now black has an option of going to d4 next and uh, i think that black has a decent compensation for a pawn let me just show you a couple of variations which prove that if if white goes b5 then black answers with uh, with knight d4 and after some exchanges black might even be able to to get some counterplay on the on the king side with h5 and probably push g4 h4 and open up the h file which is not so pleasant for for white also if, if in this position he plays queen d2 to to save this pawn Black can play g4, and after knight h4, black would get a nice outpost in d4, and still the position is uh, is very good for black. But at least white's not getting attacked on the on the king side because the knight is blocking the h5 h4 break. But in the game he played knight c6. Uh, Fabiano took. And now after a b, uh, black uh, white has to be careful about bishop f two tricks. For example, if you play something like queen e two, some passive move, then bishop f two is winning because your rooks are not connected and rook hangs on on a one. Maybe this is not the best example because after queen f two, rook a one, knight g five might come or knight d four. But you get the, the idea. For example, if I if I play queen c1 and then bishop f2 works. So because of that, white decides to connect his rooks, his heavy pieces with knight a3, also attacks b5. And now black plays bishop a6. Again, it was a good opportunity to, to play b4. 
still CB is not so good because you can even capture you can go knight d4 and d4 is uh, very very weak for, for white but after b4 white could go knight c4 and after bc bc it's tough to recommend something good for for black because if he captures uh, if he if he if he castles sorry then his king is a bit exposed here and f5 and h5 might become good outposts for for white pieces instead he went bishop a6 defending this pawn and now Fabiano just improves his bishop with bishop b3 uh, giving it more scope and also targeting f7 black went with 90, 97 avoiding some bishop d5 pins along this diagonal and now it was the perfect time for d4 black took and white took with the pawn uh, with the with the knight on d4 uh, black went b4 attacking the rook but now white plays very calmly and plays knight c4 bishop takes bishop takes and now he castles but even though black castled uh, still his king is very exposed because of his uh, h6 and g5 pawns if the pawn is on g7 it would be a different story it would be slightly not slightly but much more bearable but it, with uh, with pawns like this we always have some f4 break in and uh, opening up files so the position is not not safe at all white took on b4 and now d5 came i think that here black should have taken on d4 and after queen d4 knight c6 Queen d2 back to defend this pawn, and now after knight e5, rook ac1, white is still better, but uh, it's not as bad as in the game. Still, uh, black's king is exposed because of this. These pawns on h6 and g5, f4 is always an option. It's not perfect, but uh, I think he could be more resilient with bishop d4 instead of d5. He took and now you cannot capture on d5 because of knight c6 and now both bishop and a knight on d5 are hanging instead he goes for queen d6 but now knight b5 comes and after queen b4 b3 he went back to c5 for example if he goes Bishop b6 trying to defend his c7 pawn and defend his bishop. Then something like this would happen. Rook a8 takes, takes, queen f3. Targeting f7 and wanting to go d6 next because of a discovered attack on the rook. If he went rook f8, then queen f6 is very strong because it attacks h6. Also, White wants to play d6. For example, if king h7, d6 is very strong because if cd, knight hangs on e7. And if knight goes to, let's say, g8, then queen f5 check. And after this, you can capture upon c7, and that's just game over. Too many pawns. So he went to c5 instead. Queen f3 with the same idea, queen f6. That's why black plays king g7 and now rook a6. Renewing this threat of queen f6. Black plays f6 to stop that. And now he just doubles on the a file. And now black is not, not uh, enabled to, to move his bishop. And after knight c8, king h2. Black resigned because... 
there's no way to stop a threat like d6 coming next or rook c6 after which he would lose his bishop for example if he plays something like h5 let's play some random move white plays d6 and if now the rook on a8 is attacked if uh, if he moves the rook then knight a7 is simply winning bishop if knight d6 then you exchange first and after cd queen b7 king g6 you take on a7 and white's again a piece up and uh, here lied some little trick if uh, if white played rook c6 black had an option of going queen f2 and still uh, white can go king h2 to avoid tricks but if he takes on f2 black takes with the bishop and now the rook hangs it's still better funny funny enough it's still better for white but why would you allow this when you can collect a free piece thanks for watching